via your guide to AppMaster.io. Let's go! Today, we'll consider the integration of Bubble with AppMaster's backend. Sometimes, there are situations when the capabilities of Bubble backend are not enough to implement a project. For example, if you would like to create something with complex logic, I have already created the backend on AppMaster. Let's see it, and then I'll show you how to connect it to Bubble. In our example, we want to work with Bitcoin. Here, we turn to an external data source to get this Bitcoin ready. We form a request, send it to an external source. Receive a response and get the value of the Bitcoin rate from there. After that, we write this value to the database. We get the previous price value from the same database to compare it. After that, we transfer the received value from the text type to the float. And it is starting the comparison. Here, our business process can go different ways. We used text to record the change. It became less, it remained unchanged, or became more. Here we calculate the difference between the rate and its changes. As a result, we get three input values. It is the current rate, a textual record of changes, and the delta of these changes. Our task is to process all this in Bumble. We need to implement three components. The first is to create a database. The second is access to an external API, and the third is to visualize it. Let's start with the database. Let's create a new data type. I call it BTC. It will contain three values from AppMaster's backend. Type number, the next value is text record of changes. Text change of type text. And the third is delta. So the database is done. Now we need to connect the plugin working with an external API. Let's add a plugin. Great, it's installed. Let's call it AppMaster. I add a new call, AppMaster BTC Info. It will be a button with an action. We need to write the path to the request. In the App Master Swagger, we can see that that is the post request. We write the data to the database and see its path. Here it is. We can take it and paste it over here. We can test. I'm waiting for several seconds. All the data is received. Everything is perfect. So I can save this data. Now let's present it visually. We'll make a button that will receive this data. I name it and set up a business process. First, we send a request to AppMaster. In the next step, we process the received data and write it to the database. The first field is exchange. The second field is the text received. The third field is delta.
Now we need to create a table where we will write this data. I will make the last received value at the top. Done. And now I only need to present this data in the table. To do this, I take out three text fields. The first is price. Next one is Delta. And another one is Delta Change. Done. Let's check if we did everything right. I opened the preview of my application, it's empty here. We need to click the button and wait for the data from AppMaster. Excellent, the data was received. We received the data and we saw the rate value. We press the button again and get a new portion of data. Everything works great. Our team can say with confidence that among all no-code platforms, AppMaster's backend is the most powerful. You can implement even the most complex project with AppMaster. Please like and subscribe, and there are more exciting videos ahead. Bye! Today we'll consider the integration of Bubble. Let's do that again. Let's just do that again.